Alright, so in this video, I will show you how to address Fortnite crashes and stutters. So if you find this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and even subscribe for more content like this. I hope these tips help as much as they did for me. Now let's get right into it. Today, we'll explore 8 official methods provided by Epic Games themselves to resolve any crashing issues in your game. By the end of this video, your gaming experience should be crash-free. To start Fortnite's official Twitter account, address an issue some PC players may encounter regarding video memory shortage. Their solution? Updating your graphics drivers. The easiest way to do this is by accessing your GPU software. For instance, if you're using NVIDIA, open the GeForce Experience app, navigate to the Drivers section, and ensure you have the latest driver installed. This step is crucial as driver updates often fix bugs and enhance your performance, ensuring an optimal gaming experience while minimizing crashes. Next, Epic Games suggests running the Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. This bypasses user access control, potentially preventing certain actions that could lead to crashes. Additionally, they advise adjusting your Windows settings by disabling background apps. Simply search for background apps in the Windows settings search bar and you'll find a list of apps permitted to run in the background by default. Many of these apps serve no essential purpose and may interfere with your game. You can either manually deselect unnecessary apps or disable them to ensure none of them affect your gameplay. Implementing these steps should significantly reduce the likelihood of experiencing crashes while playing Fortnite or any other game. While engaging in gameplay, you may notice that Epic Games claims priority in the background. Certain applications might cause issues or hinder performance when attempting to play the game, so it's essential to ensure that they are disabled. The next recommended is to search in Google for the latest updates on the Microsoft.com website. Make sure to download and install the latest updates for your PC. Once downloaded, open the files and, if prompted, either confirm successful setup or proceed with repairing. After the repair process, restart your PC. Epic Games suggests repairing both x64 and x86 versions. Once repaired or installed, restart your PC and relaunch the game to potentially resolve any Fortnite crashes. Another recommendation is to navigate to the Epic Games Launcher. Go to the library, locate Fortnite. Click on the three horizontal dots, choose Manage, and under Installation, open the Install Location. Within the Fortnite Game Folder, navigate to Binaries, then Win64 and find the Fortnite client Win64Shipping.exe. Right-click on it. Select Properties, go to the Compatibility tab and try selecting Compatibility Mode for Windows 8. Additionally, disable Full Screen Optimizations, then click Apply and OK. Repeat the same steps for Pull Fruit AD. After making these adjustments, relaunch the game which should resolve the crashes. Then it's crucial to ensure that your system meets the requirements to run the game optimally. For the best experience, your computer should meet the minimum specifications. Upon clicking on this article, you'll find that the minimum system requirements include an Intel HD 4000 or AMD Radeon Vega 8 GPU, an Intel Core i3-3225 CPU, and at least 8GB of RAM. The operating system should be Windows 10 or Mac OS. However, Epic Games recommends even higher specifications, including an NVIDIA GTX 960 or above, an AMD R9 280 or above, or an equivalent DirectX GPU with at least 2GB of VRAM. Your processor should be equivalent to an Intel Core i5-7300U or above, or an AMD Ryzen 3 3300 or above, with 16GB or more of RAM. Ideally, your hard drive should be an SSD and the operating system should be Windows 10 or Windows 11 64-bit. Additionally, in the Epic Games Launcher, navigate to the library. Click on the three horizontal dots, then select Manage. Ensure that your game files are verified by clicking the Verify button. This process ensures that you have the latest up-to-date files, all verified and ready to go. Under Launch Options, consider adding the command D3D11 to switch your game to the RecX 11 mode, potentially resolving some Fortnite crashes. If you need to switch back to the RecX 12, simply delete this command. A bonus step is to navigate to the installation folder within the library, select the Fortnite game, 
Then go to Binaries Win64 and open the easy anti-cheat setup.exe. If it doesn't open initially, try running it as an administrator. After installation, repair the service which may resolve game crashes and other issues. These steps provided by Epic Games offer 8 methods to address Fortnite crashes and technical issues effectively.